the welcome home homewarming update came out a few days ago and oh my gosh was it freaking insane there was so much lore so much welcome home character content it was just freaking amazing all around now i actually did make a video taking a look at the website update itself and going over every secret that you can find so if you haven't seen that video already i definitely recommend checking it out because spoiler alert this video will contain spoilers for the welcome home update this video also might be just it's sad bit confusing if you haven't seen the new update yet so but anyways getting into today's video per usual you guys have left some amazing theories in my comment section on the video about the new update i thought today was a pretty good day to read through your fan theories that was really scary. I'm sorry. All right, so starting off strong, we got this comment from Katie Bowens. In all of the updates, it shows the timeline of events. The links are always from the puppets world about the new update and usually gives the update content more depth. I love that Wally himself isn't threatening. If anything, he's just lonely despite being surrounded by people. I like that this may support the idea that Wally is the one who's truly alive. I mean, I definitely agree on the theory of Wally being alive. I mean, he's reached out on several occasions, especially in this new update on the awayfrompryingeyes.net. We see that Wally is trying to communicate to whoever is running the web page through the phone calls which he did previously in the summer update to the employee on the staff only page and what i found super interesting about the phone call on the away from prying eyes.net page was that it seems like the phone call was being made in between the content that we found on the regular welcome home page because he's practicing singing for his little musical number toyland and on the actual welcome home page we get like the welcome home toyland record and he's talking about barnaby coming over as well which we get in the homewarming story. So I just think it's very odd. It's like almost like an actor talking to you, you know? I don't know. I just like, I'm very excited to see where that storyline goes. Okay, I'm back. I had to take a short break and change my outfit because college classes. Anyways, where were we? Oh, right. Okay, Tori Tells Tales said, I think it's more evident that Wally is terrified of home in this update. I will have to agree. My theory is he's terrified of home taking over him if he doesn't appease home. When he keeps repeating the same lines over and over to the other neighbors, I don't know how to do home warming with home and home warming is tonight. And if I don't figure it out, dot, 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 I don't know what I'll do. Wally may be secretly warning his neighbors that if he doesn't make home happy, that home will take over his body and do something awful. I don't know what I'll do. Could very well actually mean, I don't know what home is gonna do if it's pissed honestly i definitely do have to agree with you on that one because it seems like home is the one who wally really is focused on in the update and barnaby in the homewarming story is really just trying to make wally feel better and let him know that he's doing a good job you know but i don't know it's always been such an odd like dynamic between home and wally of course in like the first few updates we have uh, Wally getting interrupted by home, like creaking on the walls and he's like, oh shoot, I gotta go. So I don't know. I do not have good feelings about home at all, especially after, you know, the whole commercials deal on the away from prying eyes.net page. If you know, you know, we're Eddie. But I definitely think you're onto something. Razor the Red Lantern 6203 says, I am so happy the website is back. Going back to one of my earlier theories, the fact that the Welcome Home Restoration Project have gotten rid of all of the bugs and almost all of the hidden secrets make me think that it was one person trying to communicate with the neighbors by sending Wally instructions, possibly a lower level employee. The people in charge must have found out and shut it down straight away. That is like exactly what I was thinking. I definitely think the people on the Welcome Home Restoration team were aware of the communication going on with Wally and like being like really scared and really confused about what was happening. And they wanted to kind of know more about like what this entity was capable of. So so they left those instructions to see, you know, just how powerful this entity that was trying to communicate through the website was. And then after they kind of established that, they took down all of the different bugs and stuff and like changed the coding of the website to make it super secure. That's like my initial thought process. Don't quote me on that because that could change. I'm like so convinced that's what happened. The prodigious spider star 22 says this might be a huge stretch but i think i'm gonna stick with it no matter how wrong and way off i am but i think the person behind the prying eyes could be a cast member or a puppeteer maybe wally's puppeteer hence the w initial and i came across a lot of comments talking about the connection between the employee on the prying eyes website you know with the w initial and being connected to wally there were for sure a lot of great theories about it and i mean the w initial just means we're one step closer to figuring out who is behind the website and the connection spider star made maybe that's something to keep in the back of our heads just think about that. I accidentally slapped the camera as I was looking through more comments, so I need to stop doing that. I feel like I do that like every video. It's a problem. Twilight underscore night 5531 says, okay, what if in future updates the same thing happens to other characters? Like they all kind of start becoming more aware of the darkness in the neighborhood. That's just how I kind of viewed what happened to Eddie, but I'm not a professional theorist, but that's just my thoughts. And can we talk about those earrings? I might make something. They're so cute. Thank you. <laughs> but yeah, no, I agree. I feel like the way I viewed the commercial at the end with Eddie, I thought that he was like, 
becoming aware like he was under some sort of control like this isn't where he's supposed to be or something of that nature maybe dealing with human souls i'm not sure little wolf's art 9967 says i feel like wally's cover of toyland is meant to represent the neighborhood or maybe the show in general something about the once you cross its borders you can never return again feels important in this context like it's hinting that they can't leave the neighborhood. I totally agree. That's such a good observation because it makes so much sense. Elizabeth Huntley 6056 says, there 100% is or at least was a 10th neighbor. And here's my proof. The phone in the last update was missing two buttons. Thanks to the packaging, we know the buttons were black and white. We know that home is represented by the color white thanks to the safe button but the black button on the safe is crossed out, which is odd when all of the neighbor's phones have one. The update added a new location to the neighborhood just outside the circle of the other residents, a clock tower. If it was just a silly decoration, why would Clown not reveal it at the very start? Very good question. In Sally's Halloween story, she talks directly to us about a creature that eats residents that go outside at night, implying that she's seen it happen. My current theory is that the 10th neighbor's favorite color was black and ran the town's clock tower. None of the neighbors aside from Eddie have clocks, so it's important that someone keep their tower running. Unfortunately, they came to despise the hell he was subject to due to his isolation and tried to escape, but he was eaten alive when he ran to Sally's house. Wow, okay, very good theory. Oh my gosh. I didn't even think about, you know, Sally viewing someone getting eaten. There's there's only how many people in the cast, so it couldn't have been any of them because they're all still here. I didn't even think about that. Holy dang! But no, that makes so much sense. I do believe there is a 10th neighbor in the clock tower thing. That makes sense too. I was just looking at the clock like, ooh, this is so cute. My brain was distracted by the cuteness to see that there could possibly be hidden lore. Firegirl4707 says, theory time! Theory time, it's time for your theories. Theory time, it might get scary. Theory time, there's no better time than now. Theory time, we're gonna learn about theories that should be our new theme song for these this this video series anyways in the book recording none of wally's gifts to home have made home happy wally has been making hmm how do you say offerings to home and home isn't hmm, how do i put this satisfied with these sacrifices wally has made are the strings coming together for anyone else guys this means no affirms that wally is the faithful servant to the real villain home oh my gosh and the beast sally talked about in the halloween update what if that is wally the black dude turns him into some sort of beast at night and he searches for sacrifices no because that really does make sense <laughs> i don't think wally has an evil bone in his freaking body i think it's home i think he's manipulating wally i think he's using him as a literal puppet to do his bidding that's that's just my take and i feel like you pointing out the little sacrifice thing just just keeps reaffirming my belief of this theory Ooh. this is fun what am i doing shannon bb16 says i don't know your thoughts about dream interpretation but seeing someone eating peas in a dream indicates several different kinds of scenarios some of which expresses health and well-being while seeing eating peas in a dream indicates freedom from illness in real life i'm thinking maybe this could be almost a logan's run type of situation or even that when someone does become aware of the odd things they end up getting the stitches ripped out from them dot dot I think you're on to something. I think the single P on the plate maybe has more symbolism than, you know, we know of. I know a lot of people were pointing that out as well, and I have to agree with you because why is that such like a common imagery throughout the website update? I don't know. I think maybe when the puppets start becoming aware, they start to get like shut down, which it brings me to another point. Why is Wally the one who is communicating with us the most? Other than maybe Wally is communicating with the employees because home is trying to get more sacrifices through the employees. So I don't know. Anyways, I think that is going to be all the theories in today's video. I had a blast looking through these. Oh my gosh, you guys are freaking amazing with your theories. But yeah, if I didn't read one of your theories today, don't worry because I probably will do more of these because I, again, I love making these. These are so fun. And of course you can leave your theories on this video as well. Thank you all so much for your wonderful theories and thank you for watching. I will see you all in the next one. Peace out. Brussels sprouts.